All right, guys, so let's begin this yoga workout with a gentle warm up first, and then we're gonna take from there. So let's begin on our back today. Go ahead and lay down and extend those arms and legs away from each other. And as always, before we begin this joyful, loving, amazing, strong practice for flexibility and strength, let's set the loving, nurturing intentions for the body. No comparison, no judgment, enjoying every single second of this time. Because of the end of the day, this is our life. So give your body a good quality inhalation toes away from the fingertips give yourself a good stretch like you just woke up expand your belly and on exhalation guys draw your one knee open your eyes right now towards your belly or towards your chest so just gently press right on top on the knee and shin if it feels right, go ahead and lift your shoulders off the ground. In my beginners, you can always remain those shoulders on the floor yet. And reach that other leg. Make sure that your lower back is placed really, really firmly into the floor, especially if you lift in that other leg. And come on back down. Go ahead and take this one leg you just bend your knee. Take your arms on the side. And we're gonna go a few circles we're gonna start external ones and just gently 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 draw the circle with your toes whether you're doing again small or the big ones just try to finish the whole circle it's gonna be more shallow or wider go ahead and reverse it to the other side that's it we need to wake up those hips I'm going to give you a little heads up what we're going to be practicing today. A lot of balance, some back bends. We're going to do some warriors today. And at the end, we're going to practice split if you would choose to go as far. All right, let's extend this leg. And we're going to take and bend the other knee. Gently press the front of your leg, your quad, towards your belly. Go ahead and lift your shoulders off the floor. If that feels good, keep on breathing. In through the nose, and now it's through the nose, and come on back down, extend the same leg, take your arms to the side. We're going to start with external circles. Notice the differences between right and left sides. One hip can feel a little bit more flexible, more open than the other. We're working on evenness and harmony in our yoga practices, and sometimes it takes some time. Go ahead and reverse it. Try to draw the full circle, again, whether it's a wide one, big one, or shallow, tiny, little, bitty circle. All right, that is very good. Go ahead and press that knee one more time towards your belly. Lift your leg. We forgot to lift that other leg as we did on the other side. Very nice. Bring your shoulders back on the floor. Take your both feet up, and we're gonna do a gentle straddle. A gentle straddle just to wake up the inner thighs and the lower back. It doesn't have to be a big white straddle. Just open it up and maybe even give it a gentle little pull just to wake up the legs. Very nice. Take your both knees together and lift your shoulders one more time. Try to guys reach towards your ankles. Inhalation, exhalation, whether you're beginner or intermediate or advanced, there is always a modification. So my beginners, you're gonna take your one leg on the floor, alternate, you can also take your hands on the ground or you can even lay your head back on the floor. This is one and this is two for those who wants to work a little bit more challenging right from the beginning. Make sure that your lower back is on the floor. Draw your knees towards the chest and rest. We're gonna do it one more time. So again, you can keep your head and shoulders on the floor. You can alternate your legs, have your arms up front or behind your ears. Let's do it one more time. Lower Navasana over boat. Inhalation, exhalation, guys, and send your back, lower back into your mat. Take the knees back. 
and rest your head. Let's go ahead and take both knees on one side. The way we're doing it, we're gonna put one knee directly on top of another today. Now take your chest, shoulders on the floor, chest up towards the ceiling. I mean, as much as it possible. We're gonna take our palms, push away from the body and move them opposite direction from our knees. If that's already a lot, stay right here or try to lift your shoulders slightly off the ground. Breathe actively, guys. Excellent job. Waking up the center, waking up the core. Make sure your neck is soft. Go ahead and take those arms back and maybe even behind your head. Rest for the breath or two. We're going to switch our knees, one on top of another, to the other side. Readjust a little bit your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders nice and comfortable and chest looking up towards the ceiling. Push away with your palms, activate your fingers. And if that's a lot, stay right there. Or we're gonna turn right to lift shoulders slightly off the ground. Active center, active lower back, waking up the body. We have a challenging, fun and effective practice ahead. Let's set a commitment, hands back, to do absolutely the best what we can do as always, guys. Let's take responsibility for our health and for our results, right? All right, my friends, take your one leg up again. And this time we're gonna draw this leg on the side. Take a deep breath, inhalation, exhalation. Again, that leg might not go all the way to the floor or it might. That doesn't really matter. Okay, go ahead and take it back. Let's do the other side. Grab that leg and gently send it on the side. You can notice the differences right and left and left and right. Observation, it's important in this class. We want to be aware of our body. Okay, take it all the way back and let's do the one bridge. We're gonna do a couple more bridges at the very end of the practice when we come back on our back. But for right now, let's just do a simple Situbanhasana bridge, building the good form, no weight on the neck and head. Your feet are really planted, really good planted into your mat, connect through the glutes, activate your body. We're gonna do a lot of active, Active asanas today, we need to prepare our body strongly all the way. Come on back. All right, let's take your one leg up and help yourself to come up, guys, with me. So let's make sure that first thing first, we're gonna work on our back. We're gonna make sure that your back is your priority. So if you are a beginner or you're just not ready yet to keep the extended leg, Go ahead and press your quad against your belly and that's gonna give you that strong support for the back. So you will feel if you're rounding up. So let's grow nice and tall. All right, keep on pressing up here and if it's coming up and higher, then we would definitely extend that leg. Keep on breathing and on each and every exhalation, we're going to draw that leg a little bit higher. So let's be proactive in our practice. And if it feels completely easy for you and like not a big deal, continue to expand, guys. Challenge your body, of course, within a reason. Very nice. The same thing what we did when we've been laying down, we're gonna do right now. Check your posture and check your two sit bones being nice and leveled on your mat. Breathe actively. It doesn't have to be super wide open. Just do your best. That's great. Come on back and take your leg, the same leg we continue flow on this side. Put it up and across. If you can do it across, set it outside. The most important thing, both sit bones, guys, on the floor. And we're gonna take arms up and just reach toward the front toe. You easily reach in, continue to fold forward slightly deeper. If you're not reaching, use your straps and towels or towels around or any other piece of clothing you have handy. Breathe actively. 
we're gonna spend here just a few extra breaths observing what's happening inside always where is the tension where is no where it feels good all right come on back and undo this leg we're gonna take the other side and again press your quadricep against your belly that's going to help you to build that long extended back seated and then gently start to extend without guys losing your back of course and we continue up here on each and every exhalation we drive in that leg a little bit more up in through that nose and now it's through that nose using our belly breathing healthy breathing we don't want to focus on it, right, and fixate, but we want to make sure that we're always breathing and not holding our breath. The same thing what we did on the other side. Go ahead and open up this leg all the way. Shoulders away from the ears, sit bones, guys, on the floor. We've got this. And continue to breathe. Excellent. Let's take this leg across, just like this. And just to go up tall, make sure that you sit neutral, reach up. We're doing that reach up overhead so we can extend the back first before we're gonna go for the forward fold every single time. Gently descend, inhalation, exhalation. We just folding, melting. We're still preparing our body for more active part of this workout. Come on back all the way and let's slowly make a transition for our knees and hands. Your tabletop up here, wrist, elbow, shoulders, stack one on top of another as always. So check that it's nice and comfortable and let's take it up and down. Just a gentle up and down movements, reach up and exhalation try to feel every single square inch of your body and again it all comes down to that attitude within your health our health our vitality starts within we starting to experience that within first and then it starts to happen in with us in outer world all right let's do one more and stop right here we're gonna wake up the wrist and elbows. So set your one hand all the way outside and just gently, gently bend. That might be not really comfortable if you're not working on your wrist, elbows and shoulders a lot. So we just gentle bend and we're focusing more on the arm which we took outside of the alignment. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel it in the wrist as well. Let's do the other side and take it slightly out and just continue to bend like a try to sink through that shoulder joint all the way elbow out wrist and shoulder that feels good let's do one more right up here excellent we're gonna take our wrist inside fingertips inside if this position is not really comfortable do it halfway through you don't have to do the full one if that's already very challenging guys stay just up here and don't move farther into that if you can take your elbows outside and send your chest slightly more deeper toward the hands do it then come on back up and do your cat we're gonna do it a few more times it doesn't have to be so deep so elbows outside hips stay above your knees and just going down, stretching the chest back and working on elbows, shoulders, and wrist, cat and cow. And one more, one more, guys. Let's do it all the way, elbows, don't hurry up. Try to feel the movements through all the way. Where do you feel it? In your chest more, in your arms, on your back. And come on back up and round the spine. Make your neck feel good. That's it. Let's take our hands back. We're gonna stretch one at a time. Just put it right on top, turn it around, and do it from the other side. That can be very sensitive if you don't work enough on your wrist, but we're gonna work on it right now. All right, 
One more wrist exercise, guys. You can take it outside halfway or outside full way. Obviously, if you are a beginner or you have wrist injuries, you're not gonna do the full variation. You can just take it slightly outside, but we must work on our wrist as well. And this is already challenging enough, quite frankly, but if you want to go a little bit farther, tuck your toes in, shift the body weight slightly back towards the heels. And that is definitely sensitive for me as well. So make sure you're not overdoing it. I don't want you to hurt your wrist. I want you strong and vital so you can show up for your health every single day. All right, let's take it back. And we're going to stretch it again, but this time we do combine our wrist stretches and our toes and feet stretches. So tuck your toes. Please guys, don't skip it. If you need to take one hand on the floor and do one wrist at a time, then come back, do it, but try to stick with me working on your feet as well, right? So we're gonna take our arms and just rotate inward. Do a few rotations and try to let go of the body weight. Resentment, just let the body weight melt through those heels, through those feet, through the mat all the way and reverse it. Again, you could have do the one wrist at a time, right? And support yourself with one hand on the floor. Very nice. All right, feels good. Point your toes towards your face and palms the bottom of your palms away. And then the heat is building and go ahead and do the opposite side. The top of your wrist away, the fingertips towards your body this time. Feels amazing, feels like the wrist is stretched now. Let's take a little bit farther. We're gonna begin practice the balance for it now in the kneeling position, one arm forward, another leg back. Seems like a very easy asana to achieve the great balance, but it's not like that all the time. Scoop the belly, it might be challenging for those who is a beginner, or you just skip your yoga practices. Now we're not just holding, my friends, let's reach up over and extend all the way, like you're trying to reach something which running away from you. Keep on breathing, inhalation, exhalation. Today, we will grab the ankle. If you can, you don't have to. We're going to lift up, practicing the spaciousness in the back, space between your vertebra, back long and extended. And if it's comfortable, look farther behind that shoulder all the way. I know, I know. And slowly take it back around that spine and relax your neck round that spine and relax your neck excellent we're gonna straight keep our arms and legs straight from other side so this time you're gonna get your other arm and other leg almost forgot which one i did and guys lengthen in through the spine pull the belly in right 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 all the way longer Stronger. Breathe, guys. We start to look for the balance right here, and the balance comes when the mind is calm as well. Go ahead and grab your ankle if you can. Again, you don't have to, you can use your strap. Breathe actively. Make sure that the shoulder and wrist still one on top of another. And then, if it feels right, go ahead and look farther behind that shoulder the side where you have that bind with your ankle. Just a breath or two, we've got this. Come on back with me. We're gonna do a big compensation for the back up here. Tuck your toes, everybody, and go ahead for a downward facing dog with me. Let's begin with the basics. We always have a beginners in the class, and I just want to remind that this is class for everyone, guys. Whether you're beginner, advanced, or intermediate, I will always give you modifications, so don't be afraid to experiment and push yourself a little bit farther within a reason, of course. So start bend your knees. We only getting stronger by doing, only getting stronger by doing with commitment and consistency. 
this thing is going to start to change for good, but consistency and commitment for excellence is must. All right, let's bend both knees or extend them. If you are a beginner, you feel your weight up here, we're still standing in down dog, then shift the weight back away and bend your knees. Work on your back for now. It doesn't matter if your knees extended or not. Go to the child pose anytime you have to. Breathe, drop the hat, and let's slowly bend our one leg. Press your belly, guys, against that leg. Drop your hat and see for my intermediate and advanced if you can hug that knee underneath. Very good. Drop the hat, guys. Relax your neck. Drop the hat and relax your neck. Breathe actively. If you feel that your other shoulder is not ready to handle the challenge, put your both hands on the floor. And let's switch. We're still up here with me. Bend your other knee. Take a deep breath. Do not stress. Your body is stronger than you think. And if you want to try, go ahead and give the hug on your knees to your knee. Drop the head, guys. Relax your neck. Keep on breathing. Keep lengthening your spine. Send your belly towards your lower back. And again, you can come out any time you need. All right. We're going to start more active one. We ready for the downward facing dog squats. So go ahead and bend your knees and shift your body weight as far possible. Your back end from your hands, just like this. And squat simultaneously so you can straight for good your upper body, guys. Breathe, breathe. And then we come up. Bring the heels back, downward facing dog. Relax, restore. We're gonna do a couple more like this. Bend those knees all the way. Drop the hat, relax your neck. Belly on top on the quadricep and long extended spine in wide, wide scapula. And all the way, collar bones, press your hands, your feet into the floor if you can. Back to the down dog. Just one more time, we can do it. Here we go, all the way, squat. Shift the back, shoulder lace apart. Expand and extend through the spine. We got this all the way back to your down dog. I know, we're gonna go ahead and rest in the dolphin plank so we can get some rest to our wrist, but we're still working strong. So make a transfer with me. You have a couple options to make it lighter. Grab your hands up here or put your knees on the floor or stay with me in the dolphin plank, guys. Inhalation, exhalation, breathe and flow. We got this, all right. Hips on the floor. You're gonna find yourself, guys, in a sphinx. When your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, we just gonna lift our heart a little bit more and express for this. That feels so good. All right, let's take this arm outside, just like we did a straight, and come on up with me. That could be a little bit too much for the beginners, for the back, so just choose to stay on your elbows. Keep on reaching, and look farther above that shoulder, and that arm outside will help you to stretch even farther back. That is perfect. Let's switch, take that other arm all the way and express first work on long extended feel good back and go ahead to the other side that's it feels really nice come on back we're gonna give some extra strength to the back up here back and shoulders so your belly is on the floor and take your arms outside a little bit farther away from the base of your body Reach up, lift, and push those arms forward. Pull them back. And if that is too easy for you, we're gonna add the legs and give it a couple more. Try so all the way back. Connect and all the way extend. And connect, guys. Active back. 
and extend and connect and extend take your both hands wider our major cobra flow so do it randomly or follow me whatever feels good feels right look all the way underneath that window between your elbow and your mat just a couple more and one more beautiful let's return back to the strings mode take your hands on the floor if you need to do slower transitions through the tabletop you can always do that or follow me take your both feet back on the floor to your downward facing dog drop the hat and relax your neck my friends inhalation exhalation take your right leg up all the way look underneath the right we're ready for the tiger curl today bring your knee towards your nose it's not your plank curl like a c curve reach back up and open beginners go on your kneeling position not a big deal do your tabletop and leg extension knee towards the nose that way all right on the next one we all gonna step forward are you ready let's step forward if that step it's not strong long big enough then help yourself to get the second one all right your runner lunge up here you can always opt out of this one and put your back knee on the floor totally counts all right let's go ahead and square the hips guys reach those arms up all the way nice and open take your left and bring your right inside if your right leg up front lift your elbows and lean a little bit deeper your your runner lunge with your eagle arms arms off the base of the body and lift the elbows slightly higher shoulders slightly lower we're gonna open it up together to the warrior two ready the same leg is leading guys level those arms freeze actively we've got this beautiful and gently touch back all the way that's it very nice come on back to the floor take your both hands on the ground rotate the heel we are in a low lunge right now nice and gentle hip opener preparation for our splits today if you choose to go for that with me gently press right inside guys your inner thigh right above the knee not on the knee itself all the way that's it nice and gentle and steady straightening very good come on back all the way up here we're gonna practice our humble position in our lower lunge guys make sure that if it's if you're not ready it's too tough for you you're just gonna take your hands on the floor for those who are practicing with me guys we're gonna connect the hands and let's do it together forward fold breathe actively you can put your blocks underneath your forehead or you can reach the floor if it's there excellent couple extra press up here come on back up and let's undo those hands we're gonna do our best to step back to the three-legged position dog all the way if that is too tough then do the transition through the tabletop relax your neck drop the head and let's take our foot pack before we're gonna do the other side flow let's take our knees on the floor and we're practicing the puppy pose take your arms to the front try to remain your hips above the knees and fold forward again it doesn't have to be all the way on the floor just focus on expanding of the back relaxing your back guys that's it and just let your chin drop if it's here 
few extra breathing cycles. Great for back, for shoulders. And let's slowly return back. Couple cat and cows. Just to recover and restore. We're gonna go for the same flow from the other side. We will begin. Oh, is a tiger curl on the other leg. All right, guys, if you're following me, then your left leg up all the way express through that hip. We're ready to curl like a C curve, knee towards the nose. That's it. Take it back all the way. Knee towards the nose. Take it back all the way. Expand to your three-legged dog. Do it again. Take it back up and let's do our best to step all the way, guys, forward to your runner lunge. My beginners, feel free to do your low lunge. What we're gonna do next, anyway, after that warrior, make sure your hips are square, your knees are not folding. It doesn't have to be low, but just try to remain your shoulders above the hips. Distribute the body weight, guys, between both legs. Make it much easier to practice. And go ahead and take the opposite arm from your front leg. So it's right arm and left hand side. Elbows slightly off your chest, guys. And elbows higher, shoulders lower away from the ears. So proud of you. Breathe, guys. Your eagle arms and your runner lunge today. Open it up to the warrior two. That's it. Arms leveled, shoulders away from the ears, and gaze towards the front hand, nice and strong. That's it, settle a little bit lower in that warrior if you can. Top your leg and expand. You've got this, reach up and over. Mm -hmm. Come on back to the center, pivot your back heel and all together we're gonna go to the low lunge we're gonna work on some extra hip openers getting ready for those splits at the end of the practice today so just a gentle push press inside the inner thigh push it away doesn't have to be too much inhalation exhalation just a breath or two that's it so if you choose to put your hands on the floor and just practice a lizard essentially, you can do that or you can come up with me up for a challenge, right? No challenges, no transformation. All the way, connect the hands. If you can, lean forward to your lunge first. And then we're gonna go to the forward fold as a humble position, forehead on the ground or the block if you're ready. Stay with me, in and out through that nose, guys. Don't hurry up to come back, take your time. Come on back up. We're going to frame our front foot. Try to step back to the three-legged. Mm -hmm. Take your time, take your time. Breathe and flow, take your leg back. We're gonna set our feet wider again, knees wider for another puppy pose. This time we're gonna take hands, arms in between the knees as an option. If you're not ready, you're not ready, just do the one you did before. So we're gonna take one arm all the way and like this and take and another arm all the way just to keep your head on the side or chin in the center. And just an extra few breathing cycles. And again, your head can be definitely on the side. That's it. This is a challenging one for shoulders. Let's come on back all the way. Tuck your toes. We're back to our downward facing dog. All right, my friends, it's time for the balance. It's a balance time. 
drop the hat, relax your neck. We're gonna take the right leg up, all the way, drop the hat. We're gonna step back to our runner lunge. Now, we're doing that runner lunge to come back to the balance. I'm gonna move a little bit towards the end of our mat or, or my mat so you can see me better after we come up. Try to use your front leg to use the strings of the front leg, then come back. So we're using the strings of the front leg. Come on up and let's find standing position. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna turn around a little bit, then hop back. Let's go ahead and just take grab of our knee. Again, the balance could be better one day than the other, no frustration just an appreciation of our body, right? Keep on breathing. No expectations, no judgment. All right, today we're gonna practice our Virasana or Hub Hero. You all know that when we practice in the Virasana, our one ankle behind, one leg is extended on the floor. So imagine with your mind eye that you are sitting on the ground and this leg, which is doing half virasana. So your knee and your ankle on one level, it's level like this, breathe actively. Use the tables, the palm trees, the wall for extra balance to hold, the table, the rails, whatever you have handy. Just don't stress. Balance will come as we practice. Consistency, consistency, and consistency. All right, go ahead and make a transition to your single-legged chair pose. Now, if you're not practicing that, you can top the floor right up front or practice the regular chair, go ahead and squat. So, rather than folding forward, we're going to squat down a little bit deeper. Very nice. In and out. Happiness is within. We're projecting that happiness inside out. We're gonna grab our big toe or the foot, whatever you can, guys. All the way. Balance is right there. Okay, stay right here. Practice, hold, breathe, or go ahead and follow me for that little leg extension. Inhalation, exhalation. We've got this, guys. That's it. Let's be proactive again. If something doesn't flow right, we try it again and again and again, because it is a practice. Let's take back into the one-legged chair pose. This is a long flow. You're doing awesome, guys. No matter how long you're practicing, or you're beginner or advanced, there is always something to challenge ourselves. Let's shake it out. All right, I want to hear in the comments down below how did you do, but not right now. Let's finish our yoga practice first. Reach all the way up. Inhalation, exhalation, forward fold. Just a gentle forward fold, guys. Relax your neck. And drop the head. It doesn't have to be crazy deep. If you really need to bend your knees, then bend your knees. Let's push against the floor or the blocks, if you're using the blocks, and take your arms behind. Sweep them up, chair pose, Utkata Asana or chair pose. Be patient, you don't have to go deep. You can also take your hands up front if you have back, neck, shoulders, injuries. Arms along the ears, pretty challenging. Breathe. And now, stay in your chair. We're going to sweep the arms back. Inhalation, exhalation, and sweep it one more time. You've got this. Reach. And take your hands on the floor. Forward fold. My beginner, stay where you can. Rest in your child pose, bend your knees, intermediate and advanced. We're going to connect our hands and help ourselves to go a little bit deeper. Very good. Let's guys step 
walk or hop my beginners you definitely step in your plank if you do do your hop land soft nice and soft knees on the floor for transition if you have to come on up up dog downward facing dog we have the balance from the other side guys go ahead and drop the head relax the neck Inhalation, exhalation, recover, restore, other leg up. We're gonna step to the runner lunge. Take a look. If you do step, do your runner lunge up here. Try to practice for a few times. Using the leg strings, not by kicking off the ground or with that other leg. That's good. All right, I'm gonna hop slightly back for this balance. Come on up. Well, let's make a transfer. We're just gonna hold this leg. Take a few breaths. Let's prepare our mind and body for excellent balance. If mind can conceive, body can achieve. So we always imagining ourselves in our mind eyes, strong, healthy, Imagine the body type you want to have. Go ahead and bring your ankle right on top. Actually, we do the Virasana first, I forgot. All right, that's good. So knee and ankle. Say teacher always can't mess up too. Nobody's perfect. Knee and ankle on the one level. So just like this. Imagine that the bottom of your knee and the inner blade of your foot is laying down on the floor just like on that half hero pose half virasana breathe actively very good inhalation exhalation and now we're ready for the chair single leg chair remember your modification you tap the foot up front crisscross just like this challenging as well all right we not fold in I know you're not, just in case. And we squat into the hip, into the glute. Breathing actively. Fantastic, everybody. I know you're super strong. I wouldn't give you the strong asanas if I didn't believe in you. Let's grab the big toe or the foot. Breathe if you can reach. Take your time to extend that leg. Use extra. Balancing tools, your tables, your chairs, the rails, the trees if you're practicing outside. All the way. Once you are, guys, in your balance, do not stress. It's not worth it. The life outside of the yoga practice and our workouts together brings already enough of stress. So we don't want to stress doing something good for our bodies. Let's just take it joyfully, whatever, can we do it or can't we do it yet, it's all good. It will come eventually, again, consistency and practice. And let's take it back to our chair. One more little hold, try not to put too many pressure on the front toes, on support e flag. We got this one, very good. All right, magic, and let's come on back up, shake it out. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, we're gonna go back for the forward fold one more time. All the way forward fold, drop the head, relax your neck. Let's go ahead and walk to the one side just to release the tension of the back. See if you can bend your knee a little bit on the side you walk in and then go to the other direction. Walk, walk, walk and see if you can bend your knee just slightly. You've got this. Back to the center. Let's step back to our plank, just like this. And side plank extension, just giving the body side plank little smile. If it's too much, knee on the floor, guys. All the way to the other side. Take your time. Put your hips, your knees on the floor. Little smile with the body. Come back. We're taking our leg up and stepping through for equestrian low lunge. That can be your final. If you notice your front knee, it's not exactly 
on top on the front angle, it's slightly back. Blocks would be super helpful. You can put them underneath the inner thigh. You can put your hands on your blocks. And this is, could be it for you today. Totally fine, just practice. Do what you can do the best and exhalation. Maybe go slightly deeper. You don't have to conquer your split today, but I always will encourage, and I will encourage you right now, go a little bit deeper than you did last time. Do a little bit more extra efforts, which you did the previous practice, and always think about your body, about your health in a positive state. Even if you're not there yet, you should already draw the picture in your mind eye. How do you feel? How do you look? What do you do when you have body of your dreams or flexibility of your dreams or strength of your dreams? Whatever is your ideal, look for yourself, ideal state of feeling, state of health. So leave your knee till the very final extension, working on the hips as long as we can. Once you know there is no more left in your hips, then we're gonna give it a try for the split. One side is always going to be a little bit better than others, guys, than other side. And that's okay. And hopefully you do practice your splits, not just once in a few weeks, once we practice it together. All right. Let's slowly take it back. That was challenging. Before we go on the other side, if you have the blocks, go ahead and sit on your blocks or come on up. This is your Virasana which we did practice standing balance. So now you have more an understanding if this is new asana for you. So if you can do it again, you're gonna sit on the block and elevate. Let's just spend a few seconds, few breaths here, close your eyes. Your virasana doesn't have to be perfect. Attention and intention back to our body. We have to be aware, we want to be aware and use our awareness and consciousness as a tools, as a human beings, we have that gift. We can be conscious of ourselves. Reach all the way up. All right, and what we have to change, and even how we have to change it, what steps we should do. No one else in this universe, as far as we know, have the consciousness and ability to observe ourselves from that separate point of view. All right, front knee, front ankle. From this, you're gonna start to move back for your equestrian. That can be already a lot of work here, guys. A lot of work, stay with me. And continue to ex expand and go deeper to your split, hit the split in your practice. If not, just stay with me. All this time, try to stay in your equestrian with support or without. And we're working on the hips first. We're holding it longer and sending the exhalation to the hips. Once you feel there is no more left wood to expand in your hips, then your knee is going to come up into the play. Mm -hmm. Take your time. And inhalation. Exhalation, that's a challenging side for me today for whatever reason. And take a breath or two. And let's go ahead and take it back. All right, it was a hard working week for us with all the strings and cardio. So maybe that is why. Tuck your toes and relax your legs and your neck. Mm -hmm. Bend your pose knees, give it a little bit more. Take your knees on the ground and let's make a transition back to the sitting position. I remember, I promise you, a couple more bridges. We do one more with the arms bind. And if that would be too much for you, you can always return to the regular Siddhubanhasana or bridge. So just as we did at the beginning, or connect your hands underneath. Let's lift the hips. Reinsure that there is no tension, pain, or major discomfort in your neck and shoulders. Breathe actively. In through that nose, out through that nose, and slowly undo. 
go ahead and put your arms on the side take your one leg on the side and cross over and cover it with your other see if you can face opposite direction from your knees cat tail pose one of the variations and let's gently switch the direction we're gonna take one knee outside just open up the hip flexor cross over take it across cat tail pose and see if you can level your shoulders so your back feeling good look the other side we're just gonna give it a few extra feel good breathing cycles close your eyes if you want to and again in your mind eye feeling super healthy full of energy every day every week every month be do you have it starts from being healthy and vital inside coming back and then our influence from inside will make the things happen for us we're going to start to take a different choices different approaches discover new ways to get even more healthier if we are let's take our legs up and give it another good split after struggle after those splits today we're practicing halasana to finalize our practice halasana and we're going to flow as a choice to shoulder stand today you can opt out of your shoulder stand and just practice this just fit up towards the ceiling your halasana can be practiced with knees bent your plow pose as well you don't have to go fully for that one sometimes it's helpful to use the block underneath the feet so you have some support put your toes on the block right all right close your eyes we take in a couple breaths up here again no major discomfort in the neck or shoulders monitor that and you can come out of your plow pose first or flow with me to the shoulder stand or just fit up towards the ceiling inhalation exhalation and slowly bring your knees towards your forehead and release your body on the floor let's put our both feet together all the way and bring your knees on the side close your eyes put your hands on top on your belly or wherever you want those to go take a deep breath and let the smile to permeate every single cell of your body right now inside out let yourself to smile genuinely because everything is going better with a smile and if there is anything again what bothered you through last week last day couple few days you couldn't let it go it's time to let it go because life is too short to contemplate with those unpleasant things any anger discomfort discontent envy we all human beings just takes the space from greatness so let it go let's slowly bring our both knees together open your eyes and give yourself a good stretch just like you woke up after a really good sleep of night really nice one rested full of energy ready to conquer the world through the side guys or through the center if you can come on up with me and bring your post feet crisscrossed let's take our arms all the way up and on the way back when you draw those hands towards your heart invite anything you want to invite in your life the health the transformation the wealth the new job if you're waiting for that the health of your family the health of the loved ones close your eyes and remember anything is possible 
all the changes, all the transformations begins within. Many times we just push the change, transformation, health, vitality in way by not letting the positive thoughts to permeate our being. So let's make a commitment to fill our hearts, our bodies with positive energy, with positive words of affirmations all the time. Smile with your heart, share that smile with others and flow through the rest of this beautiful day and week with unshakable love and peace inside. Namaste everyone. And thank you so much for joining this practice with me today. I can feel, guys, your energy. Hopefully, you can feel mine. Rest well, everybody. Recover well. I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to crush it together. Bye.